In Jesus' name, we pray. Once again, I welcome each every one of us in the truth of matter, Jesus care. Our message, Jesus cares. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. Irrespective of whatever around us, whatever you may be going through, bear in mind that Jesus is aware of that and he loves you. Jesus loves you. That is our message. And I welcome you in the truth of matter, Jesus care. We are going to look at the message that says, God's trusting God's timing. God's time is the best. Sometimes it seems like God coming late on a board on his promises. If you wait, if I wait, patiently wait, God's time is best in all things and at all time. God have no lateness because God's time counted not. God is the creator and embodiment of the times. So he can change time, he can bring time back, he can bring time forward. What matter that God's time is always best in your life. In our life, if you wait. Example, if we can go to Bible, if time permit, we find a man like Abraham. God made a promise in Genesis to Abraham. And that what is promised, he first called him to separate himself among his kindred. What we can use to replace the kindred today? Separate yourself for unworldly people. Separate yourself for those things or things. You know, the Bible makes it clear. Money answer all things, but the same money is the root of all evils. So it's not that money is evil, but he's a lover of the monies. So where anything you love so much is what the Lord God called you to separate yourself out of that. Because that will turn to be like adultery, adultery before you. And before you know it, it will serve that which you love so much or cherish so much. So therefore, God was separated, called Abraham, to separate himself out of the means of those that cannot or even also can be a discouraged unto him for the journey God will know that it will take long. God knows that it's not something of two years, three years. God already programmed everything. So that is why I bring us a message that God's time is the best. Now, remember, when Abraham answered his call and come out of his kindred and come out of families, Come out of the well wishers and friends, he separate itself to the journey where he have received, even by the dream. Now, question is this Abraham know not where he going, but Abraham saw himself or vision the person, the place, but is a dream, but he obey. Now, promise letter come to Abraham that Abraham you will surely have a child. Not only child, but the nation will come out of your lungs. And Abraham also foolishly, because if you will serve God, he must serve God foolishly and believe and follow obediently. People might laughing as it was in the day of Noah. That is what we call obey and follow foolishly. Noah followed the, the instruction of God foolishly, and people laugh, and people move, or whatever, whatever word was coming. This also can be in your and my life. But how we respond in this call, when it come, is what matter. The call may not come unto you or unto I, as it come to Abraham, or as, uh, as Isaac, or as Jacob. It may not be like in Noah. But if you pay attentively to listen for the still voice, there are many still voices that are speaking to every child of God. Whether you do anything good or evil, that voice must whisper to you. So important, are you listening? Are you willing to listen that voice? That is what important. We hear about Samuel calling. I want to show you, it is not that there is a voice that is coming everywhere, but Samuel hearing this still voice calling him. Calling him. So therefore, Abraham 
was meant and commanded by God that he will have a nation. You must you tell Abraham, wait in appointed time. But as we can find in a woman being, time, we have time of everything. When that time will come in, some will choose to do their own will. That is what happened in the time of Abraham. A time come that some ideas coming around. Even by his bone of a bone of his bone, a wife. And Abraham said, her. And Abraham accepted the such advice, which we are we find Ishmael today. So therefore, if, when you choose to play your own will, get ready to make mistake. That is a mistake that Abraham finds himself that lead the entire world into the same mistake today. Just simple, obedient, but he cannot keep it. So therefore, I want to encourage each every one of us that listen. The time may be so rough, team may be so ugly, team may be so difficult. But in what matter do you believe that God continue work wonders? Do you believe that God will change your stories? In a tangle of eyes, that question you need to ask yourself. And I advise you that that is what you need to believe. And that is what you need to follow and wait patiently. Because any person, not I didn't say child of God. Because there no one that had born and born with the Holy Spirit. No one had born as a Jesus Christ. It is by your own will you choose to serve God. There is no force, there is no obligatory obligation, obligatory that you must. You choose because you want to make heaven. You want to be with him that created you. So therefore, you must also learn how to be patient in the thing of the Lord. Listen, it can even be thing that consign our health. You have visited hospital, no medications are working, all things are going against your desire. I want you to know, hand that thing over to Jesus for a care for you. God, who you and I didn't know right from beginning. And the Father said that even their children bear witness that they are those that are killing the prophet, even the Lord God sent to them. But in that, God give only begotten son, not that is have hundred, one. But you ask yourself question, if you are a, true, a truly parents or father or mother, what can that will make you to offer your son to your enemy, to those that hurt you? It can happen. Whether I have them hundred, whether I have them thousand, to give to your enemy, not because of your thing that you are expecting to gain. Jesus just wants you to be in heaven. So therefore, my advice is a patient in all things. You may struggle today and fail. Believe that tomorrow you will make it. Believe that tomorrow things will change. Don't kill yourself. Don't condemn yourself. Don't continue to curse yourself. Don't continue to curse your days. But continue having hope as it is written. Having hope that things will change. Having continue to prophesy good of yourself. Time will surely come that that which you have prophesied, that which you have asked of God, will come to fulfill. And I say will come to fulfill in Jesus' name. And I say the hard desire of your hard desire will be given unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. No matter whatever may be the situation, no matter whatever will be the circumstances, God is above your situation. God will have a solution. God, everything is ready made already. All we need there is patiently following and patiently wait unto the Lord. Even though you have prayed, even though we have prayed, we need to patiently wait unto the Lord. That is what matters. As you are patiently wait, being a child of God, doesn't carve out temptation, doesn't carve out sorrow. Of course, is that time the sorrow is all over? Is that time wherever you put hand or leg, 
there is a sorrow, there is a prescription because you call the name of Jesus Christ. Because there is a certain place he do not mention the name of Jesus Christ. Why? Because he choose it. You choose it. So therefore, the only thing that you need to do to yourself to keep life going is to recognize and acknowledge what faces you. And knowledge also what you will face in heavenly race. So therefore, giving your life to Christ doesn't mean that you give away sorrow, doesn't mean that you give away trouble. Sorrow we even find even when you are relaxing and sleeping. Because only the name of Jesus you measure. Only the name of the Christ you carry in your mouth. So therefore, I welcome each, every one of us. And I invite you and that we will continue wait and trust in God timings. Because it's the best. When the God timings come, as I will say in Abraham, we find Isaac. And now he can see what the Lord do. And now you can see what Ishmael caused. So show you the child of promise and that which you have followed in your own loss, just as the Bible makes us understand against the man, the, the, the falling of man. As the angels are the succeed and the Adams and Eve go to their own way, their own desire. The Bible said them bearing in their own way, in their own desire. So therefore, what then will bear? Sorrow, pain, sin, because that is what they are all together have. So therefore, but when you wait or patiently unto the Lord, the joy that pass understanding will surely be your portion. So therefore, let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, I thank you this day. To you alone be the glory, to you honor. Thank you because your word is true. Lord, your word, the Bible says your word is yeah and your word is amen. Lord, you are the beginning and you are the last. You are embodiment of all. In you that all things are created. There is no anything that exists on this earth that exists without you. So therefore, Lord, solutions and understand and blessing is into your heavy hand. Lord, with that Father pray. As we are patiently wait, as you commanded us to wait in Hebrew, having hope, as we are patiently do it, Almighty Jehovah, Lord, I pray that the gate of the heart desire will be open unto you and their children, those that will wait, those that will recognize you are mighty and you are great, those who will recognize you as there is no any other God. To you be the glory, to you be the honor, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, our Lord and our Savior. In Jesus' victorious name, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. So therefore, we remain the truth of matter, Jesus cares. Our message, Jesus care. That is our message, because Jesus truly care and loves you in that situation and condition you find yourself.